point to remind. Okay, so the left hand one here now is your before swing. Oh, yes, that's before. That was the first one we did, start, and we could see that sort of oh. setup you created now. Oh, was in that capital Y setup yeah, we were talking about. Right. And we want to get you in a more of a lowercase Y, which you can see on the right hand when you're kind of building into. Yeah. Okay, so because of this now, you found it very hard to rotate because the way your body was set, the ball was a bit too far back. This hand was by your right leg. So when you got about here somewhere, not really much more rotation from here now. Arms complete the swing, which we said gets the club to be quite steep. Now, when you come back to the golf ball, you've got the old, I must keep my head down mentality, which again is wrong. Body stops, arm disappears, and we miss it off the golf ball there. So off the side of the ball, the ball now going low on there because you're catching the top of the ball. Everything now is leaning back on your trail foot. So most of your weight now is on this back foot, yeah? At impact, what we would want to try and see is your left leg, okay, to be the one that's leaning forwards or more vertical. So we, yeah. the green lines here should represent your leg position here. We want to see you more there. But if you're keeping your head down and trying to lift the ball up in the air, there's no way your lower half's going to move no, and twist as no. we said you want to do. Now, you can twist in that way because you show me in many practice things that you can do it. Mm. It's when that little white thing gets on the ground that you try to <laughs> help oh, it up in the air. So the practice sequence now, it's not an easy start thing. with your feet together. That's, That's the, the first thing. Okay? Yeah. Get the club down behind the goal. But you can see now that your lead arm and the club are in more of a straighter line. And then your right arm now, is on the angle. So you're creating that lowercase y so that you talked about, okay? Down. Yes. Think of it in terms of your left hand is on the golf club yeah. higher than your right hand, yeah? So your left shoulder Should needs be higher. To, exactly. Oh, I'll try and remember yeah. that. Yeah. So just yes. get, basically yeah. you want both arms to hang pretty naturally. If I stand here now yes, kind of I'm facing silly. you, my palms are together, my shoulders are level. I'm kind of fairly symmetrical, hopefully. Yeah? Yeah. Legs are the same length, arms are the same length, okay? We want to get that left hand on the club higher. So my left arm hangs here. Well, let's get my right arm hanging here. But what a lot of right-handed people do, like you, they'll get their right hand first and go, oh, my left arm doesn't fit. I know. And they'll just pull it up like this. Oh, I see. And then you get shrugged up here. The arm's bending to start with. So it's the wrong... Yeah. So, so this arm... Hand. Yeah. So you want to lower, lower your right hand rather than lift up lower your left right hand. hand. Yeah. Lower right shoulder. Exactly. And that's going to Sorry, create... Sorry, it takes me ages to say I'm getting No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'm still... So you're getting your shoulders in a bit of a sort of tilt there, as we yes, said, yes. and creating a better set. Then you set your feet around from there. You can see when you first went in there, how your shoulders went and levelled off. Then when you reminded yourself, that you probably did it yourself, and now watch your change of body position there. See the difference? How you're moving your body now, and yeah. your head's getting a bit more behind the ball there. Now. So that now is a much better setup. Swing-wise now, we can turn. We can actually rotate our body. Yes. How much more your shoulder now is getting back on the takeaway, yeah? Actually, the body and the arms now are continually moving together. Yeah. Whereas this one, you kind of got to about here and then sort of stopped and went, whoop, and just lifted your arms up because oh, you no. weren't able to rotate as effectively, yeah? No. Now we're in a better position. We can rotate on the way back as we come back to the golf ball. The low point now, that sort of blurring swing arc is a bit more towards the golf ball, yes. whereas before was sort of way back here. Oh, yes, Obviously, the arms are going to tuck up. That's not going to just disappear instantaneously. Okay? Your left arm's still going to come around here, but we're trying to get a bit more twist. So when you finish this swing, we'd want to see this trail foot up on its toe a bit more, yeah? So the yeah. movement you make there, exact, And you can do it really well. Yes, so the movement is yes. physically something you're able yes, to do. Yes, You've definitely, yes. definitely got the sort of physical capability to do that more, though, than... Some other people I give lessons to. Really? It's just having the mental side thing. Okay, I've got to do that and I need to do that yes. as opposed to I've got to keep my head down. I've got to try and get under the ball. I've got to try and... and, and oh, all I know. The... It's so much going through your mind. Oh, exactly. Yes. Well, it's the same old thing. Like if, you're, if someone says to you, oh, no pressure. Now you feel pressure, isn't it? If someone says to you, oh, just, 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 just walk over there normally. Well, how do I walk normally? Now you're questioning <laughs> things that you can do. So these movements yes. that you can do... When people start adding thoughts into your head, now the simple act of doing anything is completely gone. That's it's like true. if you're in a comedy store and the comedian's at the front, oh, what's your name? You're like, uh, uh. you know your name, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so you get asked a question yeah. because you're in the spotlight, now we panic. And then the simple things that we can do on a daily basis go boom, out the window, yeah? yeah? So setting up incorrectly is obviously going to be a factor to and some of these swing clubs. Well. Every club in the bag. Every club, yes. Even Every the, club yeah. in the bag, even the chipping. irons and the chipping. chipping. Chipping, the only main difference you do with the chipping is there's your setup with a the chip shot, there's your right foot, the chip position with your left foot would be the red line. So you bring the foot in closer. Oh, so I if see. the foot yeah. goes in there, there would be your right leg, which means now your torso would kind of be... 
over here. So I'm not a very good drawing of yourself there. Yeah, I know. What <laughs> there you, you go. Mean. Yeah, there you go. So you move further to the left because you just brought your foot in closer. Yeah? yeah. That's all that's moving really is this trail foot. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of the setup, it's getting that wide case, wide letter say, and look at the logo. You can see now. And there's no glove on your left hand there, oh, but your no, left hand was very much underneath. Yeah? yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. You're used to wearing a glove. There. Have they all got logos on? Yeah, sure. usually. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Usually yeah. some sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, just I mean, if you could, there's no, if there's no logo on there, or the the the, the, the uh, Velcro strap on there is going to give you some indication. But the two knuckles of your left hand is going to be what we're looking for. If yeah. not, maybe three if needs. So these sort of two here, maybe three. Just think how your arm just naturally hangs from your shoulder anyway. Yeah, that's Nobody true. walks around kind of with a hand like this, do they? No. Really. No, when you think so why do you hold a golf club in an unnatural position? It feels comfortable, but it's not natural. No. So we no. want to try and get comfort and natural to feel, be the same, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Excellent. Yes. Good.